In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk to you about the location of the liver and I will talk briefly about the surface anatomy of the liver as well. So, before starting talking about the location of the liver, I would remind you um, uh, that about the division of the abdomen in which in this figure you will see the uh, nine uh, division pattern of the um, uh, division of abdomen. So we know that the abdomen can be divided into uh, four regions using a uh, four quadrant pattern and in this diagram also yeah, that illustrates the nine division patterns in which the abdomen divided into nine regions using uh, four planes. Two are vertical, two midclavicular planes, right midclavicular, you know, the clavicles here and uh, so you go all the way from the midpoint of clavicle down to the midpoint of inguinal ligament on the right and another midclavicular line on the left side and horizontally we use uh, two lines one subcostal line which is you know this is the subcostal margin on the left and right so this line is subcostal plane or line and another plane that's known as intertubricular plane there is a video on the division of abdomen you can watch it however let us start with the liver this is the uh, shadow of the uh, liver that's covered by the uh, thoracic cage uh, as you see and the diaphragm is not uh, seen here I will I will try to draw it so this is the diaphragm that should be here that's superior to the uh, uh, liver so the liver is located in first of all inferior to the uh, diaphragm and if we look to the divisions of the abdomen you can see that the liver is located in the right hypochondrium and in the epigastric region and extends to the right uh, to the left hypochondrium that means it extends from the right hypochondrium to the left, of course, passing through that way through the epigastric region. So three regions, and the greater part of the liver is situated under the right costal margin. Okay, let me uh, talk a little bit about the surface anatomy of the liver. How can uh, we? Uh, draw the uh, liver in our body can you can you determine where is the, where is the liver okay let me show you first of all let us uh, let me show you the upper border and lower border of the liver this is the liver okay and this is the upper border of the uh, of the liver right and this is the lower border of the liver. Now, the upper border of the liver it's easy and simple. First of all, you have to draw or you have to determine where is the upper border, then where is the lower border. I will start with upper border. Simply, you know, there are two midclavicular lines, one on the right and one on the left. Go all the way until you reach ribs number five this is ribs number this is rib number five on the right and okay this is rib number five on the left okay and this is number six so this space is the fifth intercostal space lift fifth intercostal space so the upper border of the liver extends at midclavicular planes from the right fifth rib to the left fifth intercostal space. So always remember number five. Remember always number five. But you know, because it's on the right, it's higher. Right? In the right, it's higher than 
on the lift so that's why it's uh, on the fifth uh, the level of the fifth rep and it goes a little bit slope down to the below to the area or to the space below the fifth rep is because it's not at the same plane to the uh, so it would be in the fifth intercostal space that means between reps number five and six okay simple five and five and always remember mediclavicular line uh, when we talk about the right uh, oh, sorry upper border now what about the inferior what about the inferior border okay let me erase the uh, this is tall, so it's gonna be clear okay the inferior border this is again the inferior border when we want to uh, 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 locate the inferior border of the liver so we have to go no we have to go a little bit laterally and use the mid axillary line mid axillary line right from mid axillary line go all the way until you reach the inferior border of the costal margin but laterally in which this is a rib number 10 right on the right side this is rib number 10 then go up along the uh, inferior border until you reach back to the our reference point always we have to go back to the fifth to the lift fifth intercostal space here right where is the again tip of the uh, liver so by this way using this line from the fifth rep on the right to the lift fifth intercostal space and from the mid axillary line you go all the way from rep number 10 uh, obliquely again back to the lift fifth intercostal space okay this is rep number 10 but i'm not going to talk about rep number 10 i'm going to talk about rep number 9 the coastal cartilage of rib number nine at mid clavicular plane or line okay this is the mid clavicular line at you know crossed by coastal cartilage of rib number nine at this point under the liver you will find the fundus of gall bladder fundus of gall bladder this is an easy way to uh, uh, to locate the goal a bladder simply draw a mid-clavicular line all the way until you reach the rib number nine coastal cartilage of rib number nine so this point is the cross point for the uh, fundus of goal bladder thank you for watching hope you will find uh, value in it thank you